A certain influencer um, lost her father. You read the caption over here? Butterfly, fly away. Okay. Rip Pappy, you were my best friend. A life well lived. Rip Pappy, veteran, PTSD, funeral, never forgotten. Cool. Now take a look at the picture. Uh, three, th- three messages. No, no, the picture. Three, the picture. Of her. No, t'as bien fait ça. T'as vraiment bien fait ça. I don't know how the fuck you did it, but t'as bien fait ça. I really listened to the task. So I really just read the caption. Didn't pay attention to none of it. None of it, nothing. I just went, I, I just went, to, and then you show me the rest. Is she posing in front of the casket, nigga? Ah! <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, no! That's her dad. <laughs> That's her dad's cat. No! 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 Her dad's in oh. the Oh, you ain't shit for this one. Oh, you did that. Oh! <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I seen it. Ow! Oh! There's always some cringe people that film the casket, mm. that take pictures of the casket. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? This is another level. We just see the picture. Uh-huh. But I just see it like, okay, take another one. Okay, take another one. Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. That's what I think about. You imagine the photographer's like, watch out, don't knock, don't knock over the casket. He's fucking dead. Who cares? <laughs> He's dead. What's gonna happen? Okay, we'll always remember you, Daddy. It's like, ugh. While he passed on, I won't pass on this opportunity. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so here's. So, you know, we clowned her, but here's a more serious take, right? Oh. First, <laughs> listen. I think we all grieve in different ways. I think. <laughs> Some do by laughing. That? No, no. But, 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 <laughs> no he, keep, I'm sorry. I'm but, sorry. But keep on going. Thing, keep on going. Right? <laughs> One thing that I've, I've liked about traveling is I've seen people celebrate death in weird ways. Some people have parades. Some people dance at, at funerals. Some people cry solemnly. Some people have to be quiet. Some people observe and, and take a vow of silence for a bit. The way people process death is vastly different. But when your experience is more concerned with the validation of strangers online, when you use someone else's passing as social currency for yourself, I think then we enter an area where it's starting to understand just how much, how much being observed shapes people and it kind of destroys any form of ritual or sanctity or anything like that, you know? Um, so, so, So there's that difficult aspect. The other side that I would say is when I see this, you might be shocked. You might be like, oh, my God, how do we get here? All this other stuff. In my head, this is just inevitable. You know, after you get over the initial shock, it's like, man, people are out here filming. They're, they're giving birth. People are out here filming <laughs> death. People are out here filming crime, documenting crime. People are out here doing all kinds of crazy pranks themselves, which result in their own deaths. People document everything for social currency. So I don't know why a funeral or a death would be any different in that sense. We don't hold anything sacred. That's that's for most people. So this seems inevitable. And for someone like her who lives off of this, right, social currency, Mm. who lives online and on Instagram, Mm. and who's always rewarded for documenting her life. True. Whether it's gratification or... Right. You know, like, we as a society also have to accept that we manufacture this. By constantly oh. rewarding people for sharing every detail of their lives, whether it be through reality TV or whatever it is, we create an environment where it's like, share your pain, right? We, we, we love when people share their pain. You have something terrible happen to you, get online. Like, 
we encourage that as a society. So this kind of behavior to me just seems inevitable. That's what I thought when I saw it. What were your thoughts? Well, to me, it's just like what we you talk about people like and they're rewarded when they share their pain. Yeah. It just all started with all those dance shows mm. that these motherfuckers cannot just dance. Right. They have to cry. Well, they have to have a backstory. They have to have a backstory that yeah. makes people want to cry and want to believe in them. Oh, it's the underdog that undercame, whatever. And it gets really heavy. It's not even about talent no more. It's about who struggled the most. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's like, what? Someone cannot just be good at dance and their life be good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, nope. mm -hmm. it has to be like, yeah, my mama had this. My daddy had that. Uh, my whole family forsaken me and this and that. But you know what? I got no legs, but I was able to overcome and be the, you know what I mean? Like, it's always a sob story. Yeah. You see it in the media. It's like we love drama. And I don't remember who said that. And the person who said that was an interview with Charlemagne the God. Social media is, although I don't believe in any of the, that crap, there is some basis to it. You know the seven deadly sins? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, social media is based on that. It's based on all the social media that you watch is either going to be one of the seven deadly sins. It's going to cater to that. It's going to be that we're going to see. Either it's going to be with greed. Either it's going to be with anger. Either it's going to be with envy. Some some of that is going to be like... And, and, and it's just one of the sins. It's, that's what it is. You have to understand that's, that's what it is. It's, a, 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 it's fueled by that. By all of that. So at some point... Yeah, sometimes I get away from that. I refrain from always posting everything that I do with everybody that I'm with. If I go in this restaurant, you best believe I shut the fuck up and I eat. Mm. I'm not going to take a picture. Oh, this is what happened. No, no. Broadcasting all of that is weird to me in every aspect of my life. If I if, if, if I got to do something about my job, that's one thing. But my personal life, I don't know. I'm not really comfortable posting all of that stuff out there for, for, for what and for who and who wants to know and why would you know? You understand what I'm saying? It's like being too accessible and shit, so. Yeah, yeah. But nowadays, folks are accessible all the time. That's yeah. why you have internet on your phone yeah. all day long. Yeah. People can always know where you are. Your GPS location is often given to your friends and family. Yeah. Right? People are documented. People are literally live streaming their lives. They're doing 36-hour streams or 10-hour yep. streams where they're just with people online all the time. We reward people <clears throat> for documenting their happy moments, their breakups, their drama. So... Even funerals are not safe anymore. Nothing is. Nothing is sacred. Soon, I promise you, once it's legal, they'll be live streaming like giving birth. They'll find a way to shove a camera up a girl's uterus and just, you want to see what's going on with the, with the baby? I think, I think this is the future. I think uh, this is, you, you should expect more of this. And um, yeah, if it upsets you, I completely get it. For me, I had that same reaction. But looking at it a whole, holistic, looking at it, the whole thing, it's just... We're gonna get more of this. Oh yeah, and it's not. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is that for her, if she'd kept her Instagram up, you know, beyond all the threats and stuff, she probably would have gained a few thousand followers. Mm -hmm. People, <laughs> because no matter yeah. how disgusted and outraged people are, there's gonna be a huge segment of folks who be like, "Oh, she got her own fans." Oh, she what other dead bodies did she pose besides? <laughs> you know, like people are gonna take an interest. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The, or they're gonna, father, they're, gonna, or they're, gonna, they're gonna follow you just to see what the next stupid shit you're gonna be doing. Yeah. People like stupid shit. What you yeah. saying? The yeah. father what? The father's a, a veteran who went to, uh, I believe it's like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Vietnam. So she was like posting about how like, oh, my father's a veteran. And so, thank you for your service. And you just got her in the background like, cheese, went to war. Yeah. Hashtag Vietnam. Killed it. <laughs> On fleek. Hashtag yeah. veteran. Hashtag veteran and hashtag on fleek should not be next to each other. Yeah. Check out these guns. Not my father's guns. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? What do you think this says about society as a whole? I know a lot of you are going to be in there in the comments and be like, oh, fucking, you know, Jesus is coming or whatever. You know, there's always those doomsday <laughs> people. But what do you guys think? All right. Let us know. I think it's great. That was crazy.